Imagine for a moment that you had the power to know exactly what women like and desire most. How would you use such a power? I can tell you that if you could read women's minds, you'd probably end up even more confused and surprised. You'd realize that, for example, 80% of what women deeply desire, they'll never openly tell or ask a man for. Hi, my name is Mauricio, and in this video, I'm going to reveal seven things women love but will never ask you for. I guarantee the sixth thing will surprise you. Stay with me until the end of the video to find out what it is. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing women desire from a man is unpredictability. A truly seductive and passionate man is one who is unpredictable, one who knows how to evoke strong and intense emotions in a woman. Do you know what the opposite of an extremely passionate man is? A monotonous, static man who always does the same things. He's boring, you can always predict what he'll say or do. He always takes the woman to the same places. To be a man who arouses passion and drives a woman crazy about you, it's necessary to break free from a monotonous routine and do things she cannot foresee. If you become predictable, she will quickly lose interest in you, though she'll never tell you this. You'll notice through her actions she'll ignore you, leave you waiting somewhere, and you'll feel her interest waning. Sometimes a woman simply vanishes without explanation. Understand that if she doesn't respond or disappears, it's because she's not interested. If she liked you, she'd show it, seek you out, and not let pride get in the way. Don't keep sending messages when she doesn't reply, you're just annoying her. Send one message, and if she doesn't answer, move on. The second thing women want is a man who knows how to listen. Learn to listen. It's no surprise that women like to talk girls learn to speak much earlier than boys, so expressing their feelings verbally is part of female nature. The problem is that most men don't take the time to listen actively to what a woman is saying. But that's where the big secret lies to naturally and spontaneously seducing women. The more you listen to what a woman says and pay attention, the more her mind projects positive feelings about you, making her feel much more attracted to you. Most men only practice passive listening, and that's where the problem lies. Let me explain the difference between active and passive listening. Most people just pretend to listen, but don't pay any real attention, this is passive listening. Active listening, however, means truly paying attention to what the woman is saying, asking questions, making eye contact, and agreeing. This has enormous power, and believe me, the more you learn to listen, the more power you'll have over a woman. Put this simple habit into practice, and you'll be amazed by the results. The third thing women desire is a man who isn't overly respectful. Yes, you heard that right. The biggest mistake most men make is treating a woman they're interested in the same way they treat their sisters, mothers, and grandmothers. Since childhood, we hear things like respect women, open the car door, give her flowers. And we see countless romantic comedies teaching men to be almost subservient to women. And yes, there's truth in that, but if you want to truly seduce and win a woman over to the point where she wants to date you or even just have something casual, you need to know how to play with her emotions, be bolder, and show through actions what you really want things a highly respectful man could never do. Tease her, touch her playfully, and you'll move beyond just being a friend to women. Understand, I'm not saying to be disrespectful or a jerk to women. Just don't be overly respectful, or as people usually say, a doormat or put them on a pedestal the classic nice guy who never gets the girl. You need to be bold. Every woman has her saintly and princess-like side and her darker, bolder side. You need to know how to nurture both sides at the right moment. The fourth thing is to dress better. Imagine you meet a top-notch woman. She takes care of herself, does her hair and nails, spends a lot of money on her appearance, buys makeup, tans, takes care of her body, studies, works, has God in her life, and does everything a high-value woman does. 
and when she sets up a date, the guy shows up in a football jersey, shorts, and flip-flops. Be honest, do you think she'll feel attracted to this guy? Of course not. Learn to dress well. Investing in your appearance is almost like a performance enhancer for seduction. If you don't learn to dress well, remember, dressing well doesn't mean buying expensive or brand name clothes you'll be ahead of other guys because you'll eliminate most of your competition with this simple habit of dressing well. The fifth thing is being in control. Do you know one of women's biggest fantasies? A man who's in control. Feminine women love when their man is in control. So next time you go out with a girl, don't act like you're with your mother. For example, when entering a restaurant, choose where you're going to sit. The right way is to say something like, let's sit over there while pointing to the spot. Believe me, women completely surrender to a man who shows he's in command of the situation. Unfortunately, most men do the opposite. They let women dominate their lives entirely. I'm not just talking about a lack of attitude or assertiveness, but allowing and worse, wanting their girlfriends to control their lives completely, telling them what to do, how to do it, where to go, what to eat, what to eat, what to buy, etc. They practically become their girlfriend's or wife's child. Don't make this mistake, because once a woman sees you as a powerless man, incapable of making decisions and protecting her, it will be hard to change that impression. The sixth thing is not performing oral sex on her. If there's one thing that 99% of women would like to ask men to do, it's this. It's not about just briefly going down on her before sex, but really taking your time and enjoying it like it's your favorite activity, without any rush. Many of my friends complain that their partners seem to do it out of obligation, but a man who does it with pleasure, without worrying about time, and focuses solely on satisfying his partner, simply ensures her maximum pleasure. So use and enjoy this as if there's no tomorrow. I guarantee she'll love it and feel much more passionate about you. While we're on this topic, tell me, are you in the group that finds it gross or are you a real man? Comment below, but be careful with your words to avoid having your comment blocked. Agreed? The seventh thing you must do is say no to her. Women test men all the time. They do this to ensure they're with the right man and some of these tests involve asking for absurd things just to see how far a man will go. Many men end up doing exactly everything women want and become doormats. You might think women like men who do everything they want, but that's very wrong. Women like men who do things to please them, but like even more men who know how to set limits and say no. Pay close attention to this women lose interest in you when they see that your world revolves around them. It's the same with a diamond. What makes a diamond different from any other stone is its rarity. Scarcity generates desire. A diamond, like anything rare, is more attractive than something that's always available. If something is always available, you don't feel that desire for it. You need to be the same way you need to put yourself first in your life. Know how to say no to people, especially women. Focus on yourself, put your goals first. There's nothing wrong with helping others, chatting or doing favors for women and such, but as soon as you start neglecting your own things to do others' tasks, you become a low value man, just like all those guys who comment on women's photos with beautiful. You need to differentiate yourself from other men. Be a diamond, be rare and hard to find. Know how to say no to certain requests. Women will start seeing you as a high value man as soon as you put them in second place. They'll begin to be more attracted to you because you'll be scarce, unlike other men. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Big kiss and see you next time.